one of our most recent videos, we discussed Simon Guabadia's criminal history and citizenship status. At the end of the video, we asked this question. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> Do you think Portia will stand by her fugazi boo? Girl, is fugazi. Fugazi, fugazi, girl. You know what we lie, a lie, lying ass. That's what it means, okay? Or will she pack up her go-naked hair bundles and leave Simon in the dust? Welp, days later, Portia Williams answered our question by filing for divorce after 15 months of marriage. Today, we're going to dive deep and we'll also share everything we know about their divorce thus far. Before we get all up in other people's business, don't forget to check out our online concession stand at rrgsnacks.com, where you can scoop up some goodies like beef and bacon jerky, blue raspberry licorice, and gummy sour bears. Now, let's rewind back to January 2024. Things were going well for Simon and Portia. They celebrated New Year's Eve in the Bahamas with Akon and his wife. Yeah, which one? Don't he have multiple wives? Was it wife A, B, C, or D? <laughs> and then, a couple of weeks later, they jetted off to Costa Rica with Portia's daughter from her previous relationship. Portia announced her return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta in a February 13th Instagram post. In the video, she referred to herself as Portia Guabadia. Portia Williams coming back to Real Housewives of Atlanta? That's false. But Portia Guabadia is in the building. <laughs> and then she and Simon were all loved up in Dubai for a Valentine's Day getaway. But once they touched back down in the States, all hell broke loose. Here we go. Here we go. It was sometime around February 18th when online sources started digging into Simon's legal issues. Court documents chronicled a period of his life in the 80s and 90s when he immigrated from Nigeria to the U.S. The paperwork revealed that Simon had been deported, overstayed his visa multiple times, and he had used a fake identity and fraudulent information to receive a green card. He has been in a court tussle as recently as January 2024, after he was denied his naturalization status. You can hear all about that hot, stankin' mess in the video linked in our description box. This was when RRG hopped on the news and created our scandalous February 19th video about Simon's past. Many people in our comments section wondered what would happen to Simon following his latest court battle. People also wondered if Portia would be a ride or die chick or if she would chunk up the deuces on his ass. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs> Yeah, you well, people didn't have to wonder for too long because Portia filed for divorce on February 22nd, 2024. This will be Portia's second divorce and Simon's fourth. Fourth? He just need to date, okay? Just have girlfriends, Simon. This, this marriage ain't working out for your black ass. People Magazine was the first to report the news. For those of you who watch our videos, you already know how People Magazine gets down. The publication is known for being celebrities' mouthpieces, meaning the news they report comes directly from a celebrity or a celeb's PR rep. So it was clear that the divorce news came straight from Portia's camp. Sit your ass down, Lauren. We know it was your ass. <laughs> An insider close to the situation addressed the online rumors about Simon's citizenship status and made it clear that the divorce was unrelated to those allegations. Just stop lying. The insider added, the cause of their split is an ongoing matter. So what kind of ongoing matter could have possibly occurred in between Portia and Simon looking more in love than ever on Valentine's Day and Portia filing for divorce just eight days later? Unsurprisingly, no one really believed the insider, especially since all signs point to Portia jumping into the marriage without doing her due diligence. A hard head makes a soft ass. Google is free, baby. Use it. In case you forgot, Real Housewives cameras captured the moment Portia and Simon first met at the home he shared with his then-wife, Fallon. Baby, you can't tell me no different. Portia was imagining herself in that house from day one, around that twerking that bubble butt in front of that woman's husband. Mm -mm -mm. Simon quickly told Fallon she needed to pack her bags and get to stepping. Just 18 days after announcing their divorce, Portia revealed that Simon was her new boo thing. And then Simon announced that they weren't just dating, he and Portia were actually engaged. Portia set up on Watch What Happens Live and stated God dropped someone else's husband right in her lap. God just dropped that man in my lap. What else could 
Yes, she do. God said, now why am I in this? <laughs> She later posted a photo of them on Instagram with the caption, Yes, we are crazy in love. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night. You also choose other people's husbands, don't you? You choose that too, don't you, Porsche? Simon echoed Porsche's statement by telling his followers that he proposed because they checked all of each other's boxes and then some. Yeah, like that citizenship box, like that green card box he would get if he married Portia, right? <laughs> but the whole situation just seemed so rushed and inauthentic from the jump. Many people wondered if their marriage was made for reality TV, but Portia shut that down by exiting The Real Housewives in September 2021. I mean, she needed time to spend Simon's money. She ain't had time to work. Now, let's jump back to her latest divorce. Portia took to her Instagram to thank fans for their prayers and support. No, I'm praying for God to bless me with a million dollars. I ain't praying over Portia mess. No, thank you. Hard pass. She also ended her statement with her initials PW for Portia Williams, which confirms that she's ready to leave the last name Guabadia in the dust. As for Simon, he posted an Instagram story on February 25th that read, We'll stop loving my wife when divorce is final. In recent days, Simon appears to be going into overdrive to prove how much he loves America. I know you lying. We black and we don't even do that. <laughs> Juneteenth all day long will be able to. In one caption, he explained how grateful he is for the opportunity to fuel the American economy by employing American families at his business. He ended his caption with, that's the real American dream, when you bless others with opportunities. Oh, yeah, they on his ass. They about to send his ass straight back to Nigeria. Girl, did you say straight? Sure did. <laughs> Some online users think the divorce is a calculated move for Portia to protect herself and her assets in case the government moves forward with deporting Simon. Again. But in her divorce petition, Portia made it clear that their marriage is irretrievably broken and there's no chance for a reconciliation. She also revealed that she and Simon were separated at the time of her divorce filing. She will be represented by prominent attorney Randall Kessler, the same lawyer who represented her during her 2013 divorce from former NFL player Cordell Stewart. Randy also represented Nene Leakes and Jeannie Mai during their divorces. In case you're unaware, Portia got screwed big time during her divorce proceedings with Cordell. Portia and Cordell didn't have a prenup when they tied the knot in 2011. Portia then found out on Twitter that Cordell had filed for divorce after nearly two years of marriage. Despite not having a prenup and Cordell being the breadwinner, Portia walked away without getting any personal property, no alimony, none of Cordell's retirement money, no health insurance, and no monetary settlement. TMZ even revealed that Portia was forced to pay her own credit card balances when their marriage ended. She was awarded the Mercedes she owned prior to their marriage and her engagement ring, while Cordell was awarded two homes, two plots of land, a 2013 Mercedes, a 2010 Porsche, and 100% interest in all of his companies. In other words, Portia left that relationship with a wet ass and a dry purse. We were shocked to hear that Portia hired Randall again. No, baby, can we say new representation, please? Or oh, he at least need to do this one pro bono. Hopefully, her lawyer will be able to work in Portia's best interest this time around, especially since Portia has her own mini empire to protect, and she and Simon signed a prenup, according to TMZ. Fans of The Real Housewives of Atlanta have been complaining about how much the show has gone down the toilet. Somebody pass me some toilet tissue. Lower ratings and conflicting cast dynamics have since pushed the network to make some big changes. Candy Burris and Marlo Hampton left the cast, and Portia will be back just in time to discuss these new changes in her life. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below, and thanks for watching RRG.